All right. As I told you, this in this doing of circle properties, very often we have this vision that bars us from seeing details. So push them that veil off and look closer at a circle and see what you're not seeing. Whenever you can't do a sum, it's primarily because of that. All right? Now here you're given PQRS is a cyclic quad, all right? And PR is equal to RS. TS is a tangent, and we have to find angle PST, yes, and angle POR. All right, POR will be just drawing here. They want you this angle. Now, since they didn't specify whether it is the reflex angle or the obtuse angle. When I said obtuse means more than 180, reflex is, sorry, obtuse, sorry. Obtuse is between uh, more than 90, less than 180. All right, obtuse, let me write it down. An obtuse angle, your angle is between 90 to 180 degrees. Rest reflex, is an angle reflex the angle is more than 180 but less than 360 so that's a reflex angle now firstly we got to find out what is PST look at that my dear do you see alternate segment when you see a chord and a tangent you automatically be suspicious and say ah alternate segment fine so what do we do next we said alternate segment, who are you equal to? You're equal to this angle. Am I not right? This is equal to this, is it? Ah, not. Because this angle is made by this quad. So this angle, angle, let me call it small s, is equal to this angle. Or if I don't want to call it small s, let me call it by name. This angle PST is PRS, alternate segment. But right now, all right, now we, we have that picture and these two sides are equal. So this side will be equal to this side, base angles of isosceles triangle. We also have a cyclic quad. So what is angle PSR equals to? Angle P, S, R. Two different arms. Two different arms. That's 110. P, S, R will be 70 degrees. Excellent. Put the reason down. Cyclic quad. All right? Now, the next thing you got to work out. If P, S, R is 70 degrees. All right, let me write here. Hey, you're 70. What then is R, P, S? RPS, because these two sides are equal, given. So RPS is also 70 degrees. So specify R, therefore RPS is equal to 70 degrees. What do you call it? Base angle of an isosceles triangle. Now as a result, you've got these two angles. The third angle can you work it out? Ah, oh, so easy, right? Angle sum of triangle. What will that be? 70, 70. So this will be 40. Excellent. So therefore, angle P, R, S is 180 minus 70 minus 70. Angle sum of triangle. So that gives P, R, S to be 40 degrees. Now, if PRS is 40 degrees, look at it, my dear friends. PRS, you're 40 degrees. Ah, and you are looking at this chord, right? So you looking there, and you two are equal. What do you call that? Alternate segment. Great. So therefore, angle PST will be equal to angle PRS equal to 40 degrees. 
reason being alternate segment. All right, specify that. Now, once you've got your alternate segment, well, that's 40 degrees. You got it? Now, let's look at it. You want POR. POR, you've got 70 degrees here. Isn't the obtuse angle POR this angle? Isn't this angle, if you look at it, double of this angle, angle at the center, twice angle at circumference? Do you see that? Take that off. Yeah. Look at it again. Ah. And get the answer. All right? That's what we need. So we said P, P O R. Okay? Angle P O R is equal to tw uh, twice of angle, twice of angle P S R. All right? And what's the reason? Angle at center equal twice angle at circumference. Do write your reasons, my dear friends. Well, that's 70, so POR is 140 degrees. Woo! Great! Your vision is improving for such sums. Shall I give you a 6 over 6? Six? 6 over 6. All right? Because you've got to see it, right? Okay, now let's look at the sum. Question 4. Ah, we already given one angle 52 degrees. And you may say, what is it? They want me to find out X and Y with minimal information. Initially, you will wonder. Alright, but look at it again. BX and AX are tangents to this circle. Their tangents and O is the center of the circle right fine when you have center of a circle O all right and you have tangents certain properties come to mind what is it alternate segment great number two RHS remember when you have a tangent and you have a radius great good R H S excellent now you look at this Radius is perpendicular to a tangent, and that's what you've got, 90 degrees. Now, if I divide this into two equal parts, all right, I said, okay, OA and OB are perpendicular to the tangents, okay? That's a property that we, we all know. Now, because they are perpendicular, triangle O A X is congruent. The three strokes means congruent, identical. Three strokes, one, two, three. All right, congruent. And triangle O A X is congruent to triangle O B X. And as a result, all right, we put the reason R H S. They did not ask you to prove it. You can also prove it why they are because OA and OB are equal. You can say it. And then this is a common sign. So therefore, this is common for both. And you have a right angle here. Hence, OXA will be equal to OBX. Great. Therefore, O angle O. X, A, we're talking about labeling, right? Equal to O, X, B, right? RHS property. And what is that angle equals 2? You divide it by 2. 52 divided by 2 will give us a 26 degrees. So you said, hey, you, 26 degrees. And you are also 26 degrees. So what will this angle then be? All right? Therefore, angle AOX. AOX is 180 minus 90 minus 26. 180 minus 90 minus 26. Well, look at this. What is the property again? You use angle sum of triangle. Please specify, no matter how simple the reason. 
All right, 118 minus 90 is 90, 90 minus 20 and a 6, you get a 64 degrees. So AOX is 64 degrees. And you know that this is 64. These two are equal, also 64 degrees. Therefore, because AOX is equal to BOX, angle AOX is also equal to angle BOX. All right? And the property is very clear, RHS property. Therefore, your X equals to 64 times 2, and that's 128 degrees. Done. Now you need to find out what is Y. How do you do that? Do you need to be a little bit innovative? Look clearer. Take off that darkness that's blocking your vision. Look at it and say, huh, can you call this a cyclic quad? No way. Why not? Because O is not touching the center unless I draw like that. Then you can call this a cyclic quad. Now, if I put this thing point here as C, you look at this whole thing, all right? What is angle BCA if this is 1, 2, 8? You divide it by 2. Now, I look at Y. You look at these two angles. I call this a small C. And since I'm given that as Y, my dear, do you see the cyclic quad properties unfold before you? Great. So you will find C so easily. C is equal to, C is equal to what? 64 degrees because angle at center is twice angle at circumference. Or angle at circumference is half of the angle at the center. But you can just put a uh, reason like that. Angle at center equal to twice angle at circumference. So your C is 64 degrees. And your Y, because it's a cyclic quad, your Y is equal to 180 degrees minus C. And what is 180 minus C? 180 minus 64 degrees. Must you write a reason? Please do, my dear. All right, we don't want to lose a half a mark too. The reason here will be called cyclic quad. All right, if we have, you can label it if you want to. You can call it as A, A, D, B, C, given A. All right, okay. So 180 minus 64, 180 minus 160 will be 120. 120 minus a 4 is 116 degrees. Ooh la la, done. Okay, now you see what we've done for this sum is we've taken off our veil to, that blinds us, looked beyond and looked at see how we could solve it with minimal information. All they gave us was that 52 degrees and then they told us that these two were tangents and because we used our properties, what properties do we use? R, H, S. And we also know a tangent, all right? A radius is perpendicular to a tangent. We know this was 90, 90. And we used RHS, which is so vital to get us to see this angle as 26. And that made us, this is 90, and we could see this 64. Angle sum of triangle. That simple property is so important. Sometimes very simple things are very important. All right, a simple thing like called sleep, you need lots of sleep too. A simple thing called rest, yes, we need rest. Sometimes a simple thing called food, ah, we need it. So basic things like this. Here, in Trigo, what we call simple thing? Angle sum of triangle. All right, the simple things that make difficult things simpler. And with Kumar and with you, my dear, we will make maths easy to understand. So we got that angle, 
All right, we got this as 64 from the angle sum of triangle. This whole thing is also 64, these two, 128, and this half of it. So you got 64. Once you've got that, if I did not draw this line, I would not be able to see why. How do I get to see it? Sometimes you've got to do additional lines so that the visual, all right, the visual uh, clarity is there. So you can say, oh, see, you're 64 degrees. Ah, cyclic quad. Look at that. Ah, cyclic quad. So this two will give you 180, and that's how you got Y. It's a good sum to get your eyes looking further than that. Right? We've got one more sum before we go to practice two.